for the car. Sometimes it's the brand name of the restorer. This is the first Amos Minter Baby Bird that we've seen at the auction this year. Two tops, test miles only. 312 inch, 245 horse V8. Ford Omatic, power steering and brakes, town and country radio, engine dress up option, royal blue canvas replacement convertible top, and porthole top. That is Star Mist Blue and has been judged best of the best in 2009 at the national and international concourse shows, where it was the highest scoring 57 bird. Yeah, I was going to make the point, not just doesn't have the mentor's name, it also has those awards. And this was judged best in what's called Concours 1, which means it's slightly modified class. You know, it's got a few extra things. For example, the power steering pump has been, the unit has been finished. It's got a more finished look than Ford gave to it. It also, I believe, has the uh, polished wire wheel, or the wire wheels, I should say. As a result, it, they've actually created a separate class for this. But this last year was the number one car in that class. And there's the Minter's sticker of restoration. Beautiful interior. I love the way the steering wheel in these 50s cars matches the rest of the interior. Try to find one of those today. Under hood, the heater fan has an interesting sticker. We've seen it on a couple of these cars as we look at the restoration. Sorry to chase you back to the front there. Look where the heater motor says 12 volt. That is a warning to the dealership mechanics because prior to this, all of these cars had six volt electrical systems and those mechanics might not be looking uh, for a 12 volt unit. And of course, we've seen a, a several E-code birds with dual quads. Well, this is a D-code, single four barrel, but all the same, the quality of the restoration brings the value of this one so far right up there with the dual quad cars. This is beautiful. We're back up to 100 grand. And no surprise. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Baby blue. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't and this one has the white top, Mike. You were talking about that earlier, about the color of the top. This one oh, has really? the contrast. It's got a white top instead of a blue top. Oh, okay. Amy has her fist up, so she has the lead bidder and the new owner of that beautiful 57 baby bird. Amy Asseter, by the way, in addition to being a bitter assistant, also has a beautiful singing voice. And every morning before we start selling cars here at Barrett Jackson, she does a version of the national anthem that will just make your hair stand on end. You like Amos Minner's Thunderbirds? Stick around. <laughs> You won't have to wait long. So the bar has been set. We'll see what the rest of the Minter products here do. It's a family affair here at Barrett Jackson. The lady seated there with the bag in her lap is Nellie Jackson, wife of event co-founder Russ Jackson, and still a member of the board of directors executive director of the board at Barrett Jackson Auction Company. It was her son Craig with her. Well, 90 grand already. This is the second of three Minter baby birds. We're going to start them out at 90 grand. Yeah, this one's a beautiful torch red, not a fiesta red, a torch red, which the torch normally was only available in 55 and 57. You know, one of the things that they added in 1957 were these, the, the vents just in front of the door, or pardon me, 56, they added these just ahead of the door. And one of the reasons being was it really helped the, the cooling and the airflow, because you realize the driver sits right up on top of this engine. The heat actually goes back through there. So these vents actually made a big difference in the cooling of the engine, of the, uh, the com passenger compartment. Yeah, note that this car does not have the cowl vents between the windshield wipers you might expect to see. So, yeah, that was quite a nice addition. It also, you'll notice it has this type of gauge cluster. If you looked at the 57, they actually had separate gauges. This is kind of the, the older style. And this is an absolute incredible timber. 
Of course, 1956 was the last year for 15-inch rims. He went to a 14-inch rim for 57 to get a lower ride height, a sleeker look. This has the correct 15-inch Kelsey Hayes wire wheels on it. Noticed in the trunk, another of those sort of gym bags. There was one in that star mist blue baby bird that just sold, and now a color-coordinated red in this car. For $100,000, you get the matching bag. <laughs> Another hundred thousand. Well, let's keep pumping them out at a hundred apiece. Why not? We've seen two. There's one to go. Well, let's see if we can go for the trifecta. That one had the color matching hard top. Last year, I asked Davis Smitter, where do you keep finding all these Thunderbirds? He says I got about 80 of them out back. Oh. Well, after uh, today, you may only have about 77 yeah, of them out right. back. The third one was just finished this month. And this is just a rarely seen color. Gunmetal gray. Beautiful, beautiful car. This color came along late in 57. Earlier in 57, it was kind of a darker, bluer color. So this is a very impressive color. Um, we can take a look inside and take a look at the uh, the instrument cluster. The instrument cluster I was talking about in that 56 had sort of a rounded look to it. If you look inside here, now you'll see the instrument cluster is more of a European style where you've got the, the large gauges. They were kind of go, trying to go for a slightly different look. They also came up with a much, I would say much, a larger trunk in the back as well. You can actually probably get a full set of golf clubs in there. The other distinction about the 57 has a little more flare at the back, a little more fin at the back. Here's the Wheaties Fuel chassis cam showing you the underside of the best bird you can buy mm -hmm. is one that was done by Amos Minter. And I like this color too. And this one has the top that comes in the same color, no contrasting color. Pictures of the restoration that Steve's holding. And that becomes increasingly important in this very competitive arena of collector car restoration. Saw the Minter's license plates and plate frames. I, I've not seen those previously, so it's a family business based out of the Dallas area. And by the way, Justin, the son, has another son, so there's a grandson who's going to be coming up in it. <laughs> All right. 95. Ah, close enough. Good day for Mr. at Barrett Jackson.